Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see that how to add the test cases uh, within a test lab or the test set. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we have already created the test set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the execution grid. Fine. If you're able to see, these are the details of the test uh, set. These are the execution grid. This is execution flow and uh, rest of the options fine so i'm going to click on execution grid so if you see uh, the moment i clicked on the execution grid these options i mean uh, these options got enabled fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the select test fine so i'm going to select the test cases from here the moment i click on the select test you will be able to see uh, this right hand side window this is the test plan tree uh, so you remember that uh, I told you that we are going to create the test cases in the test plan and then we're going to uh, import those test cases uh, in the test lab and then we're going to actually execute fine so for an example I'm going to select this test case the log is successful with correct information and I click on this button as add to the test execution grid okay now I'm closing it I can have number of uh, I would say uh, test cases here for example I add another test case and I close it okay so if I want to remove any test case I can simply click here and I can click on this button so it will remove this test case or I can simply select and hit a delete button so it will going to delete the test case okay so for an example I'm going to uh, actually execute this test case here fine so for executing the test case I have options available I want I can uh, execute the test case uh, automatically or I can execute it manually or I can execute with the sprinter fine so these are three options I'm going to run this test case with manual runner okay let's say I click here fine so it is going to show me uh, the the window which uh, what I uh, will able to see is that is actually the manual runner okay so if you if you see the status the test I mean the run is this one the status is not completed this is the test instance name under the test uh, set 1.0 the test risk you see admin and if you see the configuration and other details are available here fine so now I'm going to execute this test case fine so for executing why I'm going to click on begin run so I click it now if you see that I'm able to see all the steps here fine so my first step is in which description is this one open FRS login window and when I open FRS login window the expected result is that FRS login window should be open so I'm going to click on FRS login window so my actual result is that I'm able to see the login window of FRS it's fine so I'm going to click here I'm going to write FRS login window is open okay uh, fine then uh, I can change the status of this test case right now or I can change this test case status later as well fine I'm going to next step which is enter agent name agent name is enter for example I enter agent name as QA training I enter the agent name so I will write here agent name is entered okay next step is uh, enter password so password is entered fine so I will hit the password as mercury password is entered okay next is click on ok button okay I click on ok button So what I am able to see is when I click the OK button, I am able to see the flight reservation window. Fine. And the expected result is OK. OK button pressed and able to see flight reservation window. OK. Next step is click on 
exit menu okay so I'm going to click on the exit menu or exit button the FRS is closed point FRS closed okay now I'm going to and this test case fine so now if you see here uh, in this test case if you see here these are the details available with me okay if I see the description the expected result and the actual result the expected result is FRS login should be open FRS login is open fine so that's okay I go to next step agent name is entered agent name is entered okay password is entered password is entered expected is the same actual with the actual uh, okay button is pressed flight reservation window is displayed okay button pressed and able to see FRS window and exit menu is clicked and FRS is closed so FRS is closed fine so what I can do is as my test case is actually completed I can keep it as a passed okay so this is how I can uh, execute a test case there is one more uh, way of doing the test case is I can actually keep comparing the expected result with the actual result and I can uh, keep the I mean stepwise uh, I can keep the status as passed fine so in next video I'm going to show you that how to actually uh, stepwise how to uh, compare the result uh, in terms of a test case okay